Howdy folks. I'm at a Cracker Barrel again. I mean, you should come to expect. What do you expect? I just finished five days in a row of tough ass jiu-jitsu. Got some bruises, got some sweet bruises to prove it. Hopefully you can see that one. Um, yeah. Went to 10th Planet O'Fallon in Illinois and then 10th Planet St. Louis. Which St. Louis was good, but it was smaller. And they were doing wrestling for jiu-jitsu, which... I mean, I'll just do the class, but I'm not, I'm not stoked the whole time. Although it was good counter-wrestling. That was useful. Yeah, now I'm going to camp a couple days and then hit up Kansas City. Which, I I know of a guy who trains there, so. They have sweet rash guards. I might buy one. might think about buying one. I always look because I want to support these gyms. I'm just not going to pay a drop in fee. But none of the rash guards are like dope as fuck. They're all either cringy or just plain boring. I don't know. Decatur had the best ones. Which I'll probably eventually go there and buy one. But they, they don't need the support. They're a giant gym. But I met a lot of people that had the vaccine and like. Or got the vaccine, whatever. And they, like, openly expressed it to me. Like, they were proud of it. And, like, I'm not going to knock. Or I'm not even going to put a tinge of doubt. Like, they were so stoked on it. They felt safe. Good for you. But the minute you tell me that, I it, I un unload. I allow myself freedom to unload whatever the fuck I want. Which is how I should normally talk. But normally I just keep it, like, I'm not going to talk about ayahuasca or fucking fucking spirituality, whatever the fuck, jujitsu, astrology, to normies, but if you tell me you got the vaccine, I'm instantly like, I lived at an ayahuasca farm, or whatever the fuck I feel like talking about in the moment, like the, I take the reins off the conversation, I'm like, well, which is, it's free, I like it. But it just surprises me that people in the MMA community People that train all throughout the fucking lockdown, quarantine shit, are like the first in line to get vaccines. I'm just like, maybe you've been punched in the head too many times. It's silly. I was scrolling through like the providers of like home test kits and they all had like eugenics in the name. Or you could rearrange the letters and it would spell eugenics. I'm like, duh. Um, yeah, I've been really boring with my food, and I kind of like it. Like, no frills, <laughs> onions, potatoes, and quinoa. <laughs> oh, spinach this time. With spinach. It's good. Oh, I eat breakfast more often. Well, my breakfast, most people's lunch. And that was giving me, I don't know, I liked it, because normally I would eat like an hour before class, like fruit or something, but now I'm eating like, I was eating like four hours, five hours before, oatmeal usually, and then just trying to chug a lot of water, and that was like, I don't know, my energy was good with that, so just playing with nutrient timing, I guess. Or just actually letting the reins off my own dietary dogmas. Because I've been like an intermittent faster, like, on and off, but more on than off for the last, like, ten years-ish, roughly. So, like, eating breakfast is like, I just immediately assume I'm going to go into, like, a food coma or something. Which I did, sometimes. But it was like a... Just a rest, lay down. But my jujitsu game, like, trailed off. I, like, started as a purple belt, 
on Tuesday, and then I was like, a shitty purple belt on Wednesday, and then I was like, a blue belt on Thursday, and then I was like, a shitty blue belt on Friday, and then today, I had some okay rolls. I was wearing gi pants, which wasn't that restrictive. I just normally like tights, whatever. Because I play a lot of leg shit. It did help secure leg shit, but I don't know. I felt like <laughs> sometimes a white belt. I just didn't have the gas to attack. Finish attacks. I don't know. I like had like three triangles locked up. I did eventually get some, but I was just like... cooking them for like minutes in a triangle which shouldn't take that long that should be cinched up in 10 15 oh i got these cool patches some cool space camp patches <laughs> pimp out my own uh, jumpsuit when they give it to me just like no i added on some extra patches i just i went to a random store and it's pretty cool. Oh, I was trying to get groceries, but they didn't fucking have any. So I got another gym towel, because mine ended up smelling like terrible after five days of showering, like twice a day. But, yeah, just letting the rains off. If only I could do that always, in every situation then life would feel free. I still do better one-on-one -on -one conversations. When there's a group of people talking, I'm like... I don't know. It's hard to focus on what everyone's saying. I kind of have to focus on one person, or... just focus on what I want to say. But I got a fuck ton of footage. Like dong load of footage five days of filming like an hour at least each time so I gotta edit that edit that get that up and then yeah mosey over I'm gonna stay south cause it's another cold snap speaking of cold snap so I've made the right choice so far it's been a little zigzaggy on my path I've been like, eh, eh, maybe, maybe not. Eh, 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 eh. Yeah, it turns out there's, I'm glad I'm researching, but there's like a 10th planet that, that was shut down from COVID, and then it, they moved to another location that is now shut down. So I'm like, okay, good thing I'm not chasing these closed gyms. I haven't run into that yet, but Google Maps is like behind in their itineraries of 10th planet. Missouri seems better than Illinois. A lot of weird cars here. Like, people tend to customize their cars more. I saw like a chromed out saline Mustang with like fucking overdone LEDs, but I, I kind of liked it. And then other random cars. So far is what I've noticed not going to the city museum because it was sold out today and tomorrow and masks are mandatory man it's a giant playground like you crawl around on your hands and knees and all through shit I'm not wearing a mask for that I don't care my inner child is sad about that but not doing it I'll come back when there's no fucking mask mandate Yeah, because I, I like this gym. I liked O'Fallon better, but... I don't know. The people were good at both. There's just more mat space. And I got to take a shower. Fuck. If you have an MMA gym, especially a 10th Planet branded gym, like, somewhat highly recognizable brand, you got to have a shower. 
That's the one bummer about Huntsville. I got to finagle a Planet Fitness shower after. I don't even know. Fucking shower with the astronauts. That's what I'm going to do. Hey, guys. Mm, yeah, I just wanted to update you because I haven't talked to you since the first day. Body feels getting stronger. I don't know. I feel I feel like I'm getting new muscles. Like I have these... My legs really took a beating. I was focusing on recovering guard a lot and using my legs more in rolls. So, it was good. Although, yeah, that weird spot on my back came back. Like... An hour ago. But it was good it left me alone till after training. This is a tough racket to be like a professional fighter, and this isn't even. Like, this is a third of what a pro fighter would do. They would do like jujitsu, then striking, then like wrestling. Five days a week at least. Probably more. I mean, I'm doing like two hours of jiu-jitsu, but still, they would do that. And throw in striking, and then throw in like, just let the guys do fucking roids. They need it for the recovery. I just sleep a lot. I took a lot of naps. A lot of massages at Planet Fitness. Yeah, so. Luckily, Missouri has a fuck ton of dispersed free camping. I don't know how quality it is. I heard there's a lot of ticks, which I'm not a tick expert. <laughs> I'm like a tick retard. Like Leo, I'll let a tick get on Leo for like a week and I'll be like, what's this giant fucking jelly bean stuck to you? <laughs> oh, it's a blood-filled tick. Luckily, I'm like, I don't know, not tasty to ticks. They don't seem to get on me. But, yeah, I got well, five weeks left, ish, so, I haven't decided if I'm going to truck up to South Dakota and just check off, like, all the states up here, or bust it over, I'll probably truck up there, I don't know, it just depends how I'm feeling, if I'm feeling like nature-y hike sightseeing stuff. It's just, it's just, I mean, I like that stuff, but it's just not, I don't know. I just, I'm more happy if I'm rolling and sweating in a gym. And then maybe go to a hike. Like I would, yeah, I'm like, I'm down to go off the grid tomorrow and get a couple days of fresh air, but then I want to go back to training. Yeah, just be be who you are. It's just I don't know. Everyone's like all oh. I just noticed it on Instagram, like everyone was flying to these super fights. A lot of my like jiu jitsu friends and they're all like hiking before the fight or going kayaking before the fight. And good 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 and I'm just like like cool. I guess that's the scene is just like be seen doing a lot of things and look I don't even know. Like, what's wrong with just fucking laying in your hotel room and zoning out, meditating, doing fucking breath work? I don't know. Yeah, you can do breath work at these places, but it just seems like a lot of added shit to throw on yourself when you're already there for a fight. And then one kid lost his fight. I don't know what happened to the other kid. I bet he won, but we'll see. Yeah, it's just that, like, go, go, go pressure from society. Otherwise, I don't know. Do they judge you? I don't know. You just get looked at as weird. Like, I'm content not doing a million things a day. I'd rather prefer not to. If I had a packed itinerary, I'd be miserable.
I mean, I wouldn't mind having a little more going on than I currently do. Like, it's just, I'm keeping the reins on, either monetarily or physically or socially. <laughs> I don't know. Just trying not to judge myself. Even when I get fucking angry. Yeah, the, like, effects of jujitsu, like... I guess it's like a drug, because day one I was, like, on top of the world. Day two, I felt good. Day three, I was like, nah. Day four was a little better, but not really. That's when the physicalness. And then today, I don't know, I was just, like, beat. And I had to do laundry. Which was, it went okay, but not the thing. Like, the training isn't, the, or like motivating myself to train and do all that is not the hard part. The hard part is the minute I get in the van after training, I'm like, ugh. Like, when I had a house, I would, like, you know, just pitch my shit in the washer, fill it up, just, it does everything automatically. And just lay in my bed, smoke weed. Make some dinner a little later. Chill out. Here it's like I gotta drive to go take a shower. And then I gotta drive to go get some food. If I didn't plan ahead and get some beforehand. The chances are everything's closed. And then I gotta... Stay on top of laundry. Uh, some of my clothes was, were a little moldy. Although, yeah, I've been... There was some jiu-jitsu stuff in there that was, like, from Tennessee. <laughs> I don't even know how long ago that was. So. Just a little tea tree oil. Beep, beep, beep. Tea tree oil, double wash, hot, dry. I think it's good. Yeah. I don't have anything profound. Just feeling good. Although a lot of anger towards women in general, as a, as a species. A lot of that go, go, go commentary I was talking about was aimed at women because dudes only go, go, go because they have a bitch next to them or they're trying to impress a bitch. Yeah. The Venus Kazemi did not... I don't know, I was just trying to... I don't know if you're aware, but that was when the Sun and Venus were, like, conjunct within 16 minutes or one degree either side. So it was, like, supercharged Venus for, like, two days. And I just got a bunch of bitches texting me, but, like, not in a good way. Annoyingly. Just, like, sucking my energy. Not reciprocating. So it was a weird. I don't know. Venus is starting to drop, is not my favorite planet. Not that it was, but like, it was up there. I don't know. We'll see. Now it's like inhibited by the sun because it's within 15 degrees so it's like burnt up by the sun until the end of May and then we get regular Venus back and it'll be in Taurus or maybe Taurus maybe Gemini hopefully Taurus but yeah so I, I like tell myself I'm like alright I'm going to stay focused on myself and whatever I'm doing and not get distracted by girls. Whatever. And it... I always get distracted. Sometimes it's just like... Not... It's just... Like not even sexual. It's just like... A girl does something. And I'm like... Oh. And I pay attention to it. She steps in a puddle. And makes a funny sound. And then I'm laughing. Or whatever. I'm, I'm noticing it. 
I guess that's why women are here. To be noticed by the masculine. But our power is not to give them the attention. That's what I'm trying to do. Just stay me. But there's that weird thing when you like notice a woman or whatever, even anything. You notice someone or something. And then you're like consciously not giving your attention to it, but you are because you're noticing where they are so you don't give them attention. I don't know. It's weird. I've been playing with it and it works. It works. I don't know. Like you, see, you see a really hot girl and you just kind of notice, wow, she's really hot. And then you kind of just go back to what you were doing. And you're like, well, good for her. Instead of like, I don't know. Sometimes I would just keep looking at her. <laughs> or, you know, you like try to get their attention. Ah, the other way is better. Just do what the fuck you were doing. So, that's what I'm working on. It's just so easy to hang out with dudes. That's another reason why I like jiu-jitsu gyms. Although, the women there are cool. They, like, get it. Yeah, because they've had their shit kicked out of them. If you have an ego, or any type of what women do, whatever, like, entitlement, that gets quickly fucking grinded out of you. But yeah, I don't know, I guess I'm grown. Like, I'm just thinking of going to all these new gyms and just, like, introducing myself, being myself, talking to everyone. It's getting easier and easier. I should say not easier, it's becoming more effortless. Or, because I'm not attached to the outcome. Although, I still think of, like, zingers that I should be zinging. That's the one thing, I'm not zinging them. Because one guy, oh yeah, he's like a white belt. And he had me in an ankle lock, a straight ankle, and I was just like... Or no, I had him in 411, which is just like a dead to rights leg lock position that if you are you have someone in it, they're like, fucked. If, if you want to fuck them, they're fucked. But I was just kind of looking at my options, I was like, hmm. And just kind of noticing where control points are. And I was kind of like zoning off, and then he rolled to the side and started attacking my ankle. And I was, I don't even know what I was thinking about. I was not thinking about the roll. And then all of a sudden I felt my ankle tightening. I was like, huh. Oh, we're, we were still rolling. <laughs> and then I just tapped because I'm like, I'm not going to fight out of this because spazzy white belt. I don't know. And then he like was like, ah, is that a real tap? Ah, you're the first upper belt that I've ever tapped. And I was just like, cool man but I should have zinged it like like wow is that what you did when you lost your virginity <laughs> oh my god Jesus bro act like you've been there something to that nature cause then I could have just deflated his egoness cause that's not jiu -jitsu. <laughs> you don't celebrate a tap Unless it's like a competition. And then not even. But yeah, there was similar scenarios to that. But yeah, cool. Cool folk. Also, like, the people that I don't think are going to be cool have been the cooler ones. And the people that I'm like, assume are going to be cool because I either, like, look like me or they just have a vibe like me they tend to not really be the cooler ones so it's interesting I don't know I'm finding like who vibes to me or who I vibe to so I 
There's just also a lot of fucking big, big ass people here. I was nowhere near the biggest. Like there was either someone taller than me or stronger than me. Maybe not taller than me, but definitely stronger. Or just taller. There's fucking freaks here. That's why I was using my legs more, because I was like, I need to use other weapons in this battle. It's weird, like, you grow in one direction, and then I feel like other parts of you shrink. Because, like, as I was more outgoing in jiu-jitsu, like, I was getting more bashful about plugging in at Cracker Barrel, like, power, I was like, nee, I don't want to look like that guy, or I don't even know what I was doing, I just didn't want to have a confrontation, or, I don't know, just got in my head about it, and then eventually, last night, I was like, fuck it, and I parked, like, right between, I would usually wait till everyone would leave, and, like, no one leaves here, like, there's still cars here, it's like, three hours past close, not that I care about plugging in here, but. People ain't got shit to do in Missouri, Missouri and Illinois. I hang out at the Cracker Barrel. But I parked right between two cars. Because they were where I wanted to be to plug in. And then I just fucking got out. Untangled my extension cord. Plugged that shit in. Climbed in the van. And then, and then they came out. And they were laughing. Which I'm also finding like. I'm okay if people laugh at me. Yeah, like, I remember that was a huge, I dealt with that in ayahuasca ceremonies, because that was a huge thing that happened to me in, like, middle school, high school, these kids laughing at me for reasons, whatever reasons, and then I would just, like, shut down, but, I don't know, that they're almost giving you power, I'm just looking at it a different way. If you don't shut down, they're giving you the power. It's like a stand-up co comedian. It's like, no, thanks for laughing at me. <laughs> that power is all mine now. Thank you. You know, there's comedians that make fun of themselves. Yeah. I guess just not taking myself too seriously. Ah, that's a horrible... I hate that analogy. That's a, you should take yourself very seriously. Take yourself. Take it. Seriously. Take yourself. That is the analogy. I'd say it's more like take a third party perspective. Like maybe they have a reason to be laughing at you. Maybe you should see what they're laughing about. Like, explore where the comedy is, rather than being like, can't laugh at me, or whatever. Because, like, they could have been laughing, like, oh, there's a hobo next to us. <laughs> or they could have been laughing, like, oh, what a sweet man, who knows. I met another kid that said he had a sprinter, and he's going to start building it out and living it. I don't know if he was going to train jiu-jitsu, but he just started jiu-jitsu, so maybe. I wonder if that's... I just feel like, yeah, patience. Patience is my human design, like... I don't know. I, I gotta do a talk on human design. Just so I can, like, learn. Get it clarified into the ether. Because, like, the top four little numbers of your human design is like your cross which are like the four key element things you're supposed to work on in life or like the, when you work through them then you'll access levels of power and one of mine is patience actually I feel like a couple of mine are patience and being a projector is you're supposed to be patient <laughs> being a male and being a projector is like Like, I, 
I feel like all the like life coaches that are female are projectors. It just works for them. But as a dude, you're like, just sit around and wait and expect things to fall into my lap or people to present me with opportunities that make me feel good in my heart. I think you're full of shit. <laughs> I gotta get out there, fucking steal that basketball, and tr go traveling, and slam dunk it. Yep. I feel like this has gone on a long time, but I've, I've had a stream of consciousness. So. And now it is gone. I will catch up with you uh, in the boonies, out in the sticks. I gotta get some supplies and then shh, straight to Mother Nature. Till we meet again.